Here's a snack that divides opinions and challenges the brain. Imagine biting into something that smells like a blend of wet pennies and old shrimp. <laughs> Who and how does someone create a food that is so repelling, but people eat it and continue to serve it? Oh well. <laughs> Think you've tried all the unique foods out there? Wait until you hear about stinky tofu, a snack that could be a test of your culinary guts. And there's more as you keep watching. Serving up smiles one dish at a time. Food is Thy Mood is now live. Hello, moody foodies! Are you tired of the bland, rubbery tofu found in supermarkets that's slowly draining your soul? It's time for a sensational shift to something remarkably different. And it's not for the faint of heart. Welcome to the world of stinky tofu. Actually, it already smells bad. <laughs> Stinky tofu is not just any ordinary tofu. It's a flavorful, aromatic wonder that has made its mark in the culinary world. Its pungent smell could give the smelliest French cheeses a serious competition. Described by many as reminiscent of wet socks, sour milk, or even rotting garbage, stinky tofu is an assault on the senses. It's like tasting my uncle's farm, one might say. Is there as much nutrition in this tofu as dairy smells? This dish polarizes opinions sharply. Some react with the resounding, why would anyone ever eat that? While others find themselves unexpectedly enamored by its charms, declaring, I'm kind of into it. If you're brave enough to get past the initial stink, you might find yourself pleasantly surprised by its rich taste. Contrary to your instinctive gag reflex, it's a puke! That's a funny word, puke. Stinky tofu can be delightfully delicious. But it's not just about the taste. Stinky tofu is a nutritional powerhouse. Packed with protein, it's known for its health benefits, including lowering cholesterol and aiding digestive health. If you can stomach it, you're in for a treat that's as good for your body as it is for your adventurous spirit. Was someone trying to create a nutritional dish or is there something else behind this stinky creation? The origins of stinky tofu are steeped in Chinese history, with various tales about its discovery. One common thread in these stories is the accidental discovery by a tofu merchant or an overworked hawker. Forgotten tofu left in a jar transformed over time into this unique delicacy. It eventually gained such popularity that it was served in the Qing Dynasty's imperial palace. Stinky tofu's journey didn't end in China. During the tumultuous Chinese Civil War in 1949, it traveled to Taiwan with refugees, becoming an unofficial national snack there. It's a snack built to survive through uncertain times, and Taiwan has embraced it wholeheartedly. So how is it prepared? Stinky tofu undergoes a special bacterial fermentation process. This process is crucial in developing its unique taste and unforgettable smell. The brine used for fermentation is a mix of fermented milk, meat, vegetables, salt, and herbs left to mature for several months. Fresh tofu is then soaked in this brine, followed by a period of refrigeration to age it perfectly. The versatility of stinky tofu is another of its charms. You can enjoy it stewed, barbecued, braised, deep-fried, pickled, or steamed. Each preparation method alters its taste, texture, color, and of course, its smell. It's often served with a variety of accompaniments like dried shrimp, bamboo shoots, mustard greens, and different sauces such as soy, chili, or garlic. This allows for an endless exploration of flavors. But wait, in certain parts of China, you can find an even more unique version, hairy tofu, complete with a natural white fuzz adding to its already distinctive character. Check out our video on hairy tofu. Stinky tofu is not just a food, it's an experience. It challenges your palate, tests your bravery, and offers a glimpse into a rich culinary tradition. It might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's definitely worth a try. Who knows, you might just find yourself among the converts, singing its praises and craving that unmistakable aroma. But what really is the experience that you can expect when trying this tofu? What is the worst someone has described it? 
Well, continuing from our exploration of stinky tofu, let's dive into the reactions of people trying this unique dish for the first time. The first time reactions are a mix of excitement and apprehension. This deep fried fermented tofu, often served with pickled cabbage and a variety of sauces, is a staple in Taiwanese night markets. But why does this dish elicit such diverse reactions? And what does it say about our taste preferences? Initial reactions to its pungent aroma vary greatly, with some tofu gradually finding a fondness for its unique flavor. Comment below if there are any foods that took a while to warm up to but you really love. Tasting sessions reveal a spectrum of responses. The distinct smell of stinky tofu evokes creative comparisons ranging from old shrimp to gym socks, making for some humorous moments. Amidst this, reactions to the taste are equally varied. Some find it unexpectedly good, while others struggle with the strong aftertaste. Could the aftertaste be the key factor in dividing the opinions of tasters? The texture and the sauces accompanying stinky tofu also receive praise, adding to the overall experience. Conversations often touch upon stinky tofu being street food, a choice likely made to keep the strong smell out of homes. It's clear that appreciating stinky tofu can be an acquired taste, with some tasters suggesting they might grow to like it over time. Reflecting on the varied reactions, it's clear that stinky tofu isn't for everyone. This isn't surprising given that even among Taiwanese, opinions on the snack are divided. But there is a humorous upside to this. The fewer fans, the more stinky tofu there is for those who do enjoy it. As we continue to explore the reactions to stinky tofu, it's evident this dish sparks intense reactions. Its appearance and smell draw humorous comparisons to everything from spoiled milk to bile. But what makes the odor of stinky tofu so overwhelmingly potent? And how do people's senses react to such an extreme aroma? The first sniff often leads to jokes about needing a bucket, as some find the smell indescribably bad. As people gear up to try it, their reactions swing between apprehension and curiosity. For some, the smell is too much to handle, while others, more accustomed, are willing to give it a try. How does the actual taste of stinky tofu compare to its notorious smell, and can the flavor redeem its reputation? The experience affects not just the tasters but those around them too, with some turning pale or joking yes, about the need for up. fresh oh, air. Despite the dramatic reactions, there are those who are pleasantly surprised by the taste, albeit still with a bucket nearby for safety. The overall sentiment combines disbelief and humor as people wonder why anyone would choose to eat something so pungent. In the end, the experience leaves many with a lasting impression and perhaps newfound appreciation for their usual fare. Stinky tofu, with its unforgettable aroma and unique taste, certainly makes for an interesting and memorable taste test. In the world of adventurous eating, stinky tofu stands out as a true test of culinary bravery. What's your take on this pungent delicacy? Would you give it a try or pass? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gastronomic adventures on our channel. Remember, life's too short for boring food. And if you thought stinky tofu was a wild ride, Wait until you check out our video on eating insects. It's a whole new level of fascinating food exploration.